All right, so today we got some push-ups. I'm going to do a push-up routine with you, and then I'm going to go right into some abs. So get yourself warmed up. I'm already warmed up, and we're going to start with some drop sets of push-ups. So I want you to get in push-up position. So your hands are going to be, again, wider than your shoulders. You're up on your toes or on your knees. You're going to lower down as low as you can and push up. Don't let your chest fall to the floor, and don't let your hips rip, lift. We're going to do 14. So everybody up. Lock your core. Look at the floor. Let's go. One. Two, three, keep your abs locked. Five, six, seven more. Eight, nine, ten. Exhale on the way up. Twelve, two more. Thirteen, and fourteen. Take a little stretch, stretch back. Exhale, roll it out. So that was fourteen. Now we're going to drop two, we're going to go down to twelve. So take a little break, roll it out. We need to stretch out that chest, but you should still feel good. So we're going right back into it. Hands wide, fingers wide, knees or toes. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Exhale, 6. Are your abs tight? Four more. 4, 3, 2, one more. Drive it up. Now sit back, stretch. You should start to feel it now. Get in the warmth and the pecs. Good. Also on the shoulders. So stretch it out. Release. Dropping two again. Going to ten. Hands wide. Good position. Abs are in. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stretch it out. We've got eight left. We got eight next. So we're gonna go eight and then six and go right into abs. So I'm going to turn to this side so you can see from the side angle. I don't want your hips up and I don't want your hips falling. Hands wide. We're going to eight. Moving my equipment. Getting ready. Hands wide and go for eight. One, two, three. Go as low as you can. Four, five, six, seven. One more. Now stretch it back. So really remember, stretch it out, drive your hips back, reach your arms out, roll it out, stretch it up here, open up the chest. One more set, we have six. six. Hands wide, abs in, knees if you need to, if you're getting tired, you need to slow down or drop to your knees, otherwise try to keep your knees up. Six, let's go. One, all the way down and up, two, three, don't touch the floor, two more, five, one more, and six. Now really stretch out a little bit longer. Let your body relax. Walk those hands forward. And roll it out. So now we really stretch. Now you should have felt that. If you do it maybe twice a week, start to build up strength in your arms and shoulders. And then we'll start hitting it a little bit more with other work. So then we're going to go ahead and lie down on the floor. Crunch position. I want your hands behind the head. Engage your core, keep your lower back on the floor, elbows are out wide. Just lift here, engage your core to lift your shoulders off the floor. Your head falls into the fingers. We're going to do 15 pulses. Let's go. One, two. Nice and tight. Five more. Now I'll hold it up. Two, three. Just hold it. Squeeze tighter. Good. Nice and strong. Keep your lower back on the floor. Five seconds more, lift a little higher, shoulders up. Five, six, seven, eight, pulse again. Keep the chin a little bit away from your chest. Five more, give me five, four, three, two, up, hold it, hold it, four, there's five, a little higher, six, contract, don't stop squeezing. Five more, four, three, two, last set. 15, 13, 10 more, 9, 8, keep the chin away from the chest, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, up, hold it, can you lift higher, now reach your arms out, grab hold behind the legs, walk yourself higher, now release and hold, 3, 4, 5, 6, relax your shoulders, 8, 9, and hug the knees in, and just release that lower back, Good. Now we're just going to relax here for a second, and then we're going to come up into a V position. So, on your sits bones, 
I want you to imagine you're sitting up as tall as you can, good posture, shoulders are down and back, fingertips on the floor, or you can hold on behind your legs. You're going to lift either your knees up a little bit lower than your chest. I want your chest higher, but your legs are going to be parallel to the floor, or if you can come into a V, go here. We're just going to circle around, and two, and three. Keep your body tall, and four, five, six. Point your toes, seven, eight. No, this is not easy. Five more. Here's five and four. Get the legs up. Three, two, and one. Hug it in. Release. Sit up tall. You get to go the other direction. So, again, you need to hold on. You can hold on and bend the knees or straighten them out. And let's go the other way. One. Sit up taller. Five. Six, seven, keep your chest lifted. Eight, nine. Now I feel as I get tired, my legs will fall. So I'm trying to really pull them up. Two, I'm falling. Three, can you do it? Two, one more. And one. Hug it in, lift up tall. And good job. Lie back. Again, lower back rounded. Goal post arms, so it's your elbows bent. Come up off the floor. And we're going to rotate side to side like you're driving a race car. Three. Touch the floor with your elbow. Four. Keep your chin close to the chest. Five. Six. Really squeeze your obliques. Seven. Squeeze. Eight. Squeeze. Nine. Exhale. Give me ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. There's five. Come on. Really squeeze. Six. Squeeze, you're breathing, right? Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Tighter. Shh. Hug the knees in. And then you're going to repeat it all over again. When you're done, finish with another little stretch here. Drop your arms, drop your legs to one side. Release that lower back. Come to the other side. Release. Hug the knees in. And you're all done. See you guys next time. Have a great one.